What's up, guys? Welcome to our sixth episode of our podcast. I am the Rhino. I am the Bat. See? Yeah, buddy. So today we're going to be talking about what exactly? Justice League. I yeah, heard. buddy. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the new, newest Justice League game. So, yeah. I movie, guess, uh, movie. I think movie, movie or series. That's what I've heard. Series. Okay. It's going to be on HBO Max, I believe, <laughs> next year. So I'm excited for because you know there's gonna be uh supposedly it's supposed to be better than the movie that got released in the theater. That's saying a lot, just saying. Yeah, that's saying um, you know, I never thought it was possible, but like, you know, a lot of people were making petitions for the Snyder cut. And you know, a lot as soon as HBO because I trust HBO a lot. HBO, how many shows has HBO has produced that never failed you? Except for the season eight of Game of Thrones. Funny thing is that I actually never seen Game of Thrones. You need to watch it, bro. You you have to watch it. You have to watch it. Yeah, I know. I've heard good things about it, except for like the last season or last two seasons. Yeah, you have to watch it. The last season was, you know, a little bit, you know, rushed and and stuff. That's you, what I've heard. Yeah, you you have, you have to watch it. Like I said, you have right. to watch it. So since HBO is going to do, just is it Justice League or Young Justice? Justice League, yeah, Justice right. League. Like so the main, is the uh, main yeah, it's like Marvel's counterpart to the Avengers, but for DC. Right. Yeah. So my question would be like, who's playing? Have has HBO who released like who's playing what? Like is, um, what's his name? Ju- Justin Grant or Ryan Grant? I forgot his name. Um, who plays the, the Flash? Flash? I think the as, show. I think I think uh on the CW show I believe it's Grant Gustin, but in oh, the Grant movies, Gustin, thank you. Yeah, in the movies, uh I believe it was Miller something. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how to pronounce his so I don't know how to pronounce his yeah. name. But anyways, <laughs> like do you know if it's like either of them playing the flash or if it's like um I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but what's his play? What's his face playing Batman? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, or something. Uh, honestly, else? honestly, I like I like a Ben Affleck portrayal of the Batman was and the BVS Batman versus Superman. That's probably the best scene in the movie. The whole entire movie was that warehouse fight. Right. And um, you know, just like you know, he kind of fits the Batman mentality. Like if you look at the cartoon. Ben Affleck got more of the Bruce Wayne look. But if you look at uh, the new Batman, which is 2021, which is, I believe, it's from Robert Patterson. Right. He does not look, he does not have the Bruce Wayne look. But, you know, what? it is what it is. You know, you, we'll see what will happen. Look, I, I trust Matt Reeves because uh, of his movie, so Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah, that was a good uh, movie. So, yeah, that's a good movie. The, the latest Planet of the Apes is a really good movie. Yeah. And, uh, and since like uh, you know, I trust I trust him too, and plus I trust the actor, uh, I believe Andrew Circus, who who played Gollum, who has yeah. uh, several mar- roles in Marvel movies, mm-hmm. um, is going to play Alfred. So I, I trust, so I trust, so I trust Matt Reeves for the new Batman movie too. And I, and I believe they're going to say they're going to look like more like a detective slash horror film, kind of. All right, well, what do you mean by horror? What do you mean, like? You mean uh, like- I don't think not like not like horror, like you know, like a scary movie like that. Maybe like maybe more like a thriller, like you're okay, reading so a Batman kind of, comic. Yeah. So kind of similar to like the movies of The Foreigner or um, Parasite or something else like that. Like, yeah, I, I believe I, I believe something like that. Yeah, uh, and if you I believe like the only film that's a superhero that feels kind of like scary it's probably gonna be like blade oh yeah like blade or 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 what's the other movie that's superhero but like kind of a scary good like ghost rider didn't really felt scary for me but it felt more like a thriller right Go- ghost rider was not the best movie with nicholas exactly cage <laughs> <laughs> nicholas cage has played like pretty much all the superheroes pretty much he played like some like action film I believe he had a Superman suit on. <laughs> out, of all, he, out of all of Hollywood, you had to choose him. I'm just saying, like, I think the only good movies that Nicolas Cage was in was, like... National Treasure for me. Na- National yeah. Treasure franchise and, like, Con Air. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
And that was like yeah. that was eight. <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, I, I did, I did, I did like him in uh, Kick Ass when he portrayed a uh, Big Daddy, who's kind of like a Batman-like character. I don't know if you've seen Kick Ass. I know, I didn't see Kick Ass. You have to watch Kick Ass. I have a laundry list of things I need to watch. <laughs> Yeah, I, rec- I recommend Kick Ass. I, I like the first one. It was pretty well made comedy. It's kind of like it's kind of like film. It's kind of like created by fans, like a parody, like a parody film kind of yeah. feeling. But it's it's a good one actually. I recommend it if you want to watch it. If you watch right. it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it, interesting. And so for the for this Justice League. Uh, to be uh, released, I believe it's going to be next year. Maybe the summertime, I believe. So, summer 2021? Yeah, I believe summertime. Uh, I don't want to say it's subject to change on this, oh, but I'm guessing. Perfect. Yeah, so let's just say let's just say it comes out next year somehow. But, you know, I've, I've heard so many good things about it, too. Like, you know, like fans and look the scenes, the fight scenes are supposed to be a lot better. The movie was supposed to be three hours long, but then uh, Joe, Joss Whedon told them because uh, Zack Snyder's uh, family, he had a like family situation. Right. And um, I don't know much about that, but uh, I believe that was also what kind of did the movie a little bit downplay. Because, you know, I, I like Joss Whedon. He's a good movie director. But you could leave like some of the scenes mostly what Zach did. Like like I believe uh Hans Zimmer was part of the Oh Hans film. Zimmer Hans Zimmerman's like easily one of the best composers like ever. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, I work like, out. like John Williams. <laughs> I literally work out to the Batman soundtrack that he made, the Dark Knight soundtrack just uh, just, just go to the gym and you just go, you blast the, the songs. Have you ever, ever seen the movie Gladiator? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, Russell Crowe. I, I work out to his Gladiator Walt. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I don't know why I like Gladiator. That. Gladiator is a good movie. I love that movie. It's I believe that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Just saying. Yeah, it's top. It's in the top five for me. Uh, I like. I liked it because it was well made, and I had a. Honestly, speaking of Gladiator, and since this is like a DC movie. That we're talking about uh, for for Joaquin Phoenix, who was also in Gladiator, played Joker last yeah. year, and his performance and his performance in Gladiator was pretty good too. It was, yeah. and, and for the Joker, it was amazing too because I I didn't knew he was gonna pull it off like Heath Ledger did. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when it comes down to those who play Joker, it's kind of like yeah, they get Ledger and then everybody else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, like. Like for the Dark Knight film, it was pretty good. I think that's the best superhero film of all time. I think the best Joker uh, Joker representation in the series is just yeah. me though. <laughs> like you know, I could say like I'm pretty sure for you the best superhero movie of all time is probably gonna be the one of the Iron Man's, right? And you're the big Iron Man fan. Yeah, I'm. So to our audience, for those of you who don't know, I have I do have a mechanical engineering degree. Funny enough. Um, yeah. Mainly because of Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. That's it. <laughs> I only became after seeing the first Iron Man back in like what 2005, 2006 time, whenever that came out. Yeah, 2008. 2008. Sorry. Yeah. I said, you know what? I want to become a mechanical engineer. That's it. <laughs> End the story. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> so, hey, you could. You made it so far, bro. I'm proud of, proud of what you're making your progress on. What's going on? And, uh, you know, it's just, like, for me, pretty much Batman's what inspired me to do martial arts. That's how we met at Krav Zone, Krav Maga. Yeah. And, uh, you know, then I went to AKA to continue my martial arts there. But since, <laughs> since, everything, since everything's closed, yeah. you're not even trained at the moment. Well, things are starting to get better. Is I heard some gyms are opening, but some are, some are. I, still, I still think some are, like, some are open, some are not. And I believe, and I believe, it depends on the county. Bay Area is all closed. Still, yeah. But you know, I can't wait to to uh, start, you know, rolling again and and then uh, more muscle because, like, we do have we have a gym equipment, but we need we need more. 
<laughs> yeah. I really, uh, speaking of your workouts, I heard you've been working out so much too. Yeah, I've actually ended up losing like 10 pounds since the start of the shelter in place. Okay. <laughs> so I'm down to like 238, 240. I'm trying to get down to just like 175. 175. Nice, nice. How much, uh, how much workouts do you usually do an hour for or do? Uh, it depends on the day, it depends on how tired okay. I am. Like, I feel it. Obviously, like Tuesday, Thursday, I got my mm-hmm. NBA classes, which suck more than anything else. <laughs> I usually think about when I work out, I actually work out on the hottest day. I'm just crazy. <laughs> right. And it's just like hottest day, you just uh, sweat a lot more, which I think it helps a lot about like getting to shape and losing weight. Right. But I don't know. It could be just me. It, but, you know, I could work out for some other people. But usually when I work out, I usually do my uh, upper body, then legs and then stuff. And then, you know, if you have any good workout suggestions, we should also do a podcast on workouts. That's actually a good idea, actually. Um, maybe we can do that next week. But... Yeah. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. also, and also uh, with the news going on, too, um, I think – since like a like Santa Clara County just literally said you could eat outside too, yeah. So hopefully with that, um, hopefully with that, you know, we could open more things like gyms and uh, businesses. So I need to start. I need to start shopping for more shorts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we literally started this what back in February, March, March, March I believe. March. Well, March. it became a problem in February, but. You know, the shelter in place took over, I believe, the 18th, right? Yeah, it was like halfway into March or something. Yeah. And then, and then uh, three, literally three weeks later, we're in like June. I'm just like, what the hell happened here? <laughs> I know, we're literally, we're literally living in some science fiction movie right now. We yeah. need the Justice League, we need the Avengers now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, have you been watching any of the sports world too? Sports, sports. world, yeah, sports. Um, some um saw the what was it, last weekend's fights. Fights, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not paying. I'm just, I just saw the free ones. I'm not paying. <laughs> I'd rather watch the post clips afterwards. <laughs> the highlights. That's true. That's true. Dep- depending on depending on who's the fights. Uh, and you know, Fight Island from the UFC is technically real, so it's a real life Mortal Kombat. It's in, I believe, in Abu Dhabi. Right. And I believe DC is going to have his last fight, whether he wins or loses. He announced it's going to be his last fight against Stipe. Should be a yeah. good one. Trilogy. Yeah, it should be a good one. And I believe uh, Khabib might fight Justin Gagey, I believe, in the last. Either Fight Island or, in case if things get better, the Chase Center in San Francisco. Right. Yo, if, uh, it's in, if it's in San Francisco, I'm buying tickets. I'm <laughs> yeah, buying tickets so one. fast that it's not even funny anymore. Yeah, I believe the the what a fight what sold out in three minutes was the Khabib versus Connor fight back in 2018. Sold out in three minutes. Three yeah. minutes. Yeah. And, and speaking about the sports world, uh, the NFL season should be starting, I believe, in like August. Hopefully, yeah, that's around the end of August. That's when yeah. the weekend is. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, fans can watch the games because I've been watching the Europe football or soccer or whatever you want to call it. TV it looks like I mean, it's just like a scrimmage. I mean, it looks like it's just like a scrimmage. And it just feels yeah. so weird because there's no fans. You can you literally hear about the fan, like the players talking to each other, like, oh, they're right here, I'm open and stuff. It really feels really, really. Yeah, that's really apparently weird. how it's always going to be for American football, too, where it's like either it's going to be like limited crowd or no crowd at all. Yeah. And uh, speaking about sports, Ronaldo just became the first active billionaire to earn billions in his earnings career. I'm not surprised. I still, I still, I thought, honestly thought it was going to be like to get in that category was probably going to be like 
more like at least five more years. But you know, I'm, not, if, I'm not surprised you made it though. If it, if it was played in the U.S., if he was playing in here, I guarantee you he would have became a billionaire a long time ago. Yeah. Because, like, you know, I honestly think Tom Brady should get more money. Like, his contract should get the same amount, too, because he's the greatest right now of football. And uh, and his wife, Gizelle, sadly has more money than Tom Brady. I'm yeah. saying this now. He has more money than Tom Brady. Yeah. And it just really – I just think, like, Tom Brady should have asked, like, you know, you should give me this amount of money. But I do – also, I do agree with him at some points. Like, he wants to be paid the same amount of his teammates. Because it's just like the – like, for example, for Ronaldo, everyone on the team are millionaires, but he's the only one that's billions. Yeah. And it'd be like, oh, shit, we have someone on our team that gains, like, billions, and I still get my millions. Got to right. do something. <laughs> Just like, you know, just mostly, mostly he got that money from Instagram is because of his following. It's like every business out there is targeting him to like, you know, getting sponsored. Like at. Every little thing that they can think of. Yeah. It's like, you got all the companies going at him and it's like, technically he's like, he's his own brand. Pretty much. Like he got like his biggest contract is Nike. Right. And then it's Instagram. Instagram gives him like more money than Juventus contract. I believe I believe Instagram gives him like forty seven million dollars. Right. That's like more than his a lot of money. 30, more than thirty two million where he gets from his Juventus contract, which is he signs and he could extend it every year. Right. And it just it's just so funny how much people make money off like Instagram, but you know. Yeah, it can really be that would be hundred dollars bills and not even care. Yeah. Just like sponsorships. Sponsorships do work. They yeah. do work. Ronaldo's a perfect example from coming from nothing to a billion status. Talking about sponsorships. Yeah. A quick break here. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. But as I mentioned before, we got a sponsor on this channel. And our sponsor is Spar Soap. Spar Soap is a great soap company. Links in the description box down below. But at first, here's their ad. Thank you Sparso for sponsoring this video, much appreciated to you guys. As always, links in the description box down below if you want to check them out. But now, back to your regular, regular, regularly scheduled video. No. So, welcome back. So, like we were saying, uh, sports contracts and people, how people become multi-billionaires and billionaires and all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you need to work on that transition, I know. <laughs> Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Just by playing a sport, you get yeah. so much money. Basically, how what's his name? Tiger Woods, Floyd Tiger Mayweather, Woods. Mm -hmm. and um, Floyd Money Mayweather was also made it to. He almost made it to the billions. I think he made it to the billions. Yeah, he yeah. did. I think. And then yeah. obviously Jordan was the kingpin behind this, and you, I think he was yeah. the first athlete to become a billionaire. Yeah, whatever. but he didn't become active when he was still playing. Right. But I think that's he, he mostly got it from this Jordan brand off Nike too. That's what I'm saying. Like Nike literally has a lot of power. Yeah. Like I think like I, I still think Adidas should do the same thing for for its athletes. Because right. so far the highest paid athlete from Adidas is David Beckham and he's retired. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, you should they should fill in I don't know who's sponsored by that by Adidas. But I do know Rockwell, Luke Rockwell is a big Adidas guy, but I don't think he's sponsored by them. But as, Luke Rockwell is a different character on his own, man. <laughs> <It's insane. laughs> 
and is also and and for sports, I believe like Adidas should do the same thing for like for its athletes. I believe like you know on other athletes that's not football, aka soccer, that's sponsored by Adidas. Nah. No. Nah? Yeah, I thought so. I think I think some NBA players are. You no, know, like I think it's like mostly of them is like Nike though. Know? Yeah. Like for example, Steph Curry Steph and Curry is sponsored by Under Armour. Yeah. So I, I still I still believe like some athletes in the NBA are not just all Nike. Like I'm a Nike person myself. Oh my <laughs> not a sponsor by them. <laughs> Same. But Nike, Nike, if you are watching this, we'll more than happily be sponsored by you guys. Just saying. Yeah. We could probably be the fourth and fifth on the list to be the, on the billions for Nike. Yeah, I, got, I got fourth. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. So I still think like Adidas should do the same thing with their athletes. Because like I believe like since Beckham's their highest, they have to have like Messi. Right now, Messi's still continuing his career, still active. Right. I respect I respect Messi so so much too, because for all the work he's done, because it's, it's not hard to get at that level. Just for just as a reminder for me, like Messi is Argentinian. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For some reason, I thought he was Spanish. I don't know why. Uh, it's because he might play for Barcelona. That's probably why. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, a lot, like you know, a lot of people get like a lot of people get confused. When I was playing the sport too, as a younger guy, Portuguese, like, right? Yeah, right. yeah. And uh, you know, there's like they play two, they play two teams, the national and the club. Yeah. And I was always confused because I'm like, do they play at the same time? But they don't. Like the national team plays probably like the, if there's a World Cup or a Euro Cup playing. Or some, play like, more games. some big like uh, competition like the Olympics or yeah. the World Cup or something. Yeah. The Euro the Euro was supposed to start two days ago. But since COVID nineteen well, yeah. since COVID nineteen, you know, it's postponed to next year. So Portugal's it happened with the Olympics first... too. It's like yeah. it started this year in twenty twenty, but it's yeah. expected twenty twenty one. But they're also going to the twenty twenty Olympics. So I was like, yeah. what? I was really looking forward to the both of these big gigantic sports. Yeah. I was looking forward. I was I was actually wanted to see the Olympics. I was going to work out. I believe, uh, man, it just it's just so like changed the world like in seconds back in March. Yeah. But you know, first it was like thinking, just thinking about every day. Oh. You got the sports, big sports coming this year. You got the Euro and the Olympics coming up. And then suddenly, back in uh, days later, everything got shut down. Yeah, and then they started saying, "Oh, we're postponing the events." And then, like, okay, more time to, for the athletes to prepare. And I was looking forward for for those two events, but you know, next year it should be hopefully, I guarantee it's going to oh, be back to normal. All the catch up with this. Yeah. Oh, man. Last, basically, the last like six months were like chaos. <laughs> looking back on it, it was really, yeah, I felt like we lived 50 years and five months. Yeah. Technically. I yeah. can't wait to see, well, I, I'm hopefully what is going to start the history books and the couple. Maybe like fifty years from now, it's gonna say, like, who started the coronavirus? That's a question. You don't even, it's still don't even know. Some people say it's you know lab made. Some people say it's come from a bat. So uh, apparently, uh, Norway, 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 Norway yeah. say something that's lab made. So and I and I believe that it's lab made because like, because I do know bats carry it, but like why now like. It literally started in the Chinese New Year. They they oh. they literally kidnapped the doctor who was about to spread the world. Yeah, the news. I remember that. Yeah. So, how how I'm, messed up if if it would have been like it was lab made, but they injected into bats and then we ate the bat, uh, <laughs> we ate the bats, and that's how we got it. It's like how, how fucked up would that be? 
That's really effed up. Yeah. Because it pretty much it pretty much screwed screwed me so much from doing my normal activities which I like that to do. Everybody, not just you. Yeah. Yeah. It, it explain like, you know, the sports, the businesses, the economy, obviously. I just yeah. what I'm most worried about was the economy. Since like when I first when I when I first heard about the shelter in place order, that's when all the business started closing down. You know, the economy yeah. was the first thing that's gonna be affected. Yeah. And I believe we're still, and I believe we're still in the trillions. Obviously, we're still in the trillions, but absolutely, it might take like several months to recover from this. Yeah, it'll take at least a year and a half, at a minimum, year and a half to like, yeah, relatively get back to normal. And then, yeah, obviously, like, I've heard recently on the news that we are the U.S. is in a recession now because of this. Yeah, absolutely. Which, unsurprisingly, like, okay, like. Yeah, what else are we supposed to hear from the news now? Like, literally, like, you know, like, for the scientists who are working very hard to create the vaccinations yeah. and, uh, and, and stuff, because the virus mortality rate is not that high. It just mostly has affected the elderly. It depends on your group from what I understand. It. And yeah. just as a quick side note to the, our viewers, we're not doctors. So yeah. don't take us any medical advice from us. <laughs> Talk to your own doctor. Listen to your gov- local government. And that's it. Oh, don't listen yeah. to idiots on the internet like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, yeah. that's it. But like, um, from what I've heard is this like. People are just still like refusing to accept that coronavirus is. Uh, it was, I was like, not bad. Um, the mortality rate is depending on your like how old you are and your health yeah. effects. Yeah. It's like, for example, if you're 70 years old and you have like every medical issue in the book, mm-hmm. you're as good a chance you may yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it feels like we're living in this sci fi kind of world. Yeah. Just thinking about it, just like how the world changed suddenly, like, like Literally that. Like seconds. Yeah, just like seconds. Yeah. Honestly, like, like you know, um, man, just how things could have been if Wuhan city could have like locked yeah. down itself. Before. Apparently, they had their own like a resurgence of the virus now. I'm just like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, like everything's kind of back to normal. I see my friends are hanging out. We're hanging it down at Satana Row. I saw their Instagram stories there. People were not wearing masks, only the workers. Some people were not, but you know, if you're gonna go out in public like that, especially with the protesting, you should no get issue. tested, wear a mask yeah. and and stuff. Because I do not want to get this virus. <laughs> yeah, I mean I I personally can't because I live with two people who are hyper like immunosuppressed. So if I get it, they're they're gonna get it. Yeah, same thing. Same I, thing I, goes with me as well. Like my family too. So that's why I don't go out much of off like, like I used to. Yeah. Technically, you know, it's just crazy world that's going on right now. Right. So talking about the protests, bruh. Yeah. I, I. That's sad. Like again, yeah. I'm not saying what. George Floyd did was right or wrong, or that's mm-hmm. apparently from the research I did, and I could be dead wrong about this. Is that like mm-hmm. he apparently paid the reason the whole police got called was because he used like a like a counterfeit bill to pay something, and he got mm-hmm. caught with that. Mm-hmm. And just like why? First of all, like I forget the whole cop issue. That's a, I'll talk about that in a couple of seconds, but. Why would you pay for something with a fake money? That's obviously illegal. You're at best case scenario, you're gonna be put on like maximum security. Mm. <laughs> and I'm just like, yo. So I'm not yeah. saying he's right in that. Yeah. Um, so I do, I do agree that he needs to be like arrested for that crime because it is mm. a crime. Then you got the cop, <laughs> the, the cops. Like, okay, fine. I understand if he was like going to kill you guys. Had a bomb on him by basically like doing like everything wrong possible. I understand what you did. That, uh, even then, that's like whatever. Like I don't agree with it, but like mm-hmm. 
he needed to be arrested kind of thing. Yeah. But dude had his neck, uh, his knee on his neck for the better part of 10 minutes, handcuffed, <laughs> which I don't understand. Yeah. Like, what? Honestly, the- honestly, this should have just took him straight to the station. I don't get the point why he was being kneeled down. Like, yeah. I don't want to, you know, I support the, the protests. Yeah, I, I just, just don't support the looting. Like, uh, we're not saying yeah. fuck the police or fuck the protesters or anything, yeah. but both sides are wrong in this situation. Like the cops yeah. handled it horribly, and that's yeah. only mildly at all. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, the reason the police got called against George Floyd was because of him paying mm-hmm. with the illegal like currency. Yeah. So I'm just like both people are in the wrong, but obviously one only have one side of that story because yeah. George Floyd obviously passed away. Yeah. Number for 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 that rule, he didn't deserve to die. No. Nah, maybe nah, deserve nah. maybe like he deserved like a like a little bit of consequence, but not like death or anything. Yeah, not like, like I mean like think about it. Like if the US law, for example, has said it is legal to make a like, counterfeit money and you will get jailed for it. Let's just say that they do it. Yeah. You should deserve jail time because of that. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying regard. I'm saying regards of race, religion, sexual orientation. Um, if you think goats are gods and the bacteria on your rear end is like <laughs> the devil kind of thing, you still deserve jail kind of thing. <laughs> but at the same time, just like what the cops did were like way too excessive in my opinion. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> yeah. So that's well, just I- my own two cents of it. Yeah, just you know, hopefully, hopefully they could change the justice system, the justice system, and not just in the U.S. but around the world. This is an issue around the world as well. Mm-hmm. Um, especially like in in Europe, the police brutality is still still a thing as well, and I believe in South America too, because I believe the the some police just killed an unarmed fourteen year old in Brazil. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's just like, like I it's, a, it's a world, it's a world problem. This thing too. And like, again, I'm not saying like every police officer, regardless yeah. of country of origin, is bad. I'm just saying it. Mm-hmm. It's like five percent of the profession is a bunch of dickwads who can go hang themselves for all I care. Mm-hmm. And these five percent or this minority set is the problem, not the majority. Mm-hmm. I know a lot. Of, like for example, this Tennessee cop. I think he was a cop or something said, if you support the killing of George Floyd, you need to be, like, you need to resign. He's yeah. a good cop, not anything on his record, apparently, from what I understand. Mm. But he ended up getting fired for those comments. Yeah. Well, again, it's yeah. like, that's also the thing about our generation that I don't understand is that we have so much of a double standard that, like, oh, we, like, we literally can go from not all Muslims are terrorists to, like, all cops are killers. And, like, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's I, the thing I don't understand. It's like, why do we have a double standard for one thing, but we don't use the same standard to for like everything else? Mm-hmm. Like that's like that's what I hate about my generation. Like our generation is like, we literally support like saying all Muslims are not terrorists, which is true. There's the minority mm-hmm. that basically screws over the majority. There's a lot of people who are saying, oh, and then all of a sudden the same people who said that literally turn around and say all cops are killers. So I'm just like venting right now. I'm like, I do mm-hmm. apologize. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like like I do I do have some friends that are police exactly. officers so do I. And, then, and uh and and you know some of them train at the AK gym yeah. that I was training with uh I'm not going to say their names but they're nice yeah. guys and um yeah and I know yeah. one guy who's at Crop Zone um training at Crop Zone and he's a I don't know if he's a sheriff or if he's a normal cop but Mm-hmm. Either way, he works in law enforcement. And he's yeah. the guy. I'm willing to go like grab beers with him, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, just like and um, you know, like you know, I have friends in the you know that are cops. So, yeah. like I said, like like I still think like some like the justice system should be improved a little bit. It should be like I think there should be and plus like even if you do like forget about this whole George Floyd issue for right mm-hmm. for like a few seconds here. Yeah. It's so interesting that like you can commit the same crime in two different states and get two different sentences. Mm-hmm. 
Like, again, I don't, we're not saying commit murder or commit a crime. We're saying, like, it's interesting to see that thing. Uh, that's all. Just, again, for the record. <laughs> I'm trying not to get sued here. Uh, but, like, if you were to commit like, a crime here in California, you'll get X amount of years for that crime. But if you go to do the same crime in, like, let's just say Nevada, you may not get, you may get, like, a slap on the wrist. Yeah. And you could be this like one the same exact nationality and everything. So I'm just like, bruh, there should be like a standard saying, okay, bare minimum is this. If each day has to do can do more, but the bare minimum of time is this for this crime, for this crime, this crime, blah blah blah. Right, right. That's just me again. My own like, opinion. like for in my opinion, not it's not just the police that have to be improved, but also the justice system. Like, right. Like the judges, because <laughs> let's let's say this so. Do you remember the case of Brock Turner, the swimmer in Stanford oh, University? Yeah. yeah. So he did this. So he raped. So he raped a girl in the trash near behind the, trash, the trash. Behind the trash. Then there's another athlete who is yeah. a football star in his university who did the same thing, but he's still in jail. So he speak, and Brock Turner's out. Yeah. Yeah. So. And the, the, what really pissed me off about the Brock Turner case was that his his uh, prick of a father said um, he shouldn't be jailed because he wasn't having fun. <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah. Like, first of all, you don't ever touch a woman like that, ever. Yeah. Like, ever. Yeah. And number two, unless it's some weird fetish, which I'm not – I don't understand, mm-hmm. then you don't ever rape a woman. <laughs> yeah. Period. Doesn't yeah. matter race, religion, like <laughs> sexual orientation. You don't rape a woman, regardless if you agree with her, don't disagree with her, or whatever. You don't hurt like another person. If like, she says, if she says a no, then it's a no. Just leave her alone. Exactly. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just like you know, just saying this means the justice system still needs to be a lot to be worked on. Yeah. A lot to be worked so on. So many things that we need. But the U.S. justice system, and I guess every other justice system around the world. But yeah, it's it's this is this is mostly of a world problem too. Because in Europe, you know, racism is a big thing. Exactly. Europe. Especially especially in Italy, because it's always like it like you know their folk their football soccer league, Serie A it's called. They they did a anti racism promotion instead of using a people of color on their on their uh, posters, they use monkeys on their yeah. protest signs, which is a lot of people. It sparkled the whole world, not just Italy. It sparkled the whole right. world. A lot of people were like, "What the f is going on?" Like, you know, it's just like, why would they do this? Like, they they were doing something like right, but they're also doing something that's wrong. Like, it's like, why would they use monkeys instead of people of color, which is the athletes that they could have used on that poster? Exactly. Like- um, I read this article too, like how Israel um, is discriminating against, uh, against like Tunisian Jews or Palestine. No, no, Palestine. against like uh, African Jews, like like African Jewish Jews. people who are happen to be African. Yeah. And they're getting racially like like racially profiled because of yeah. that because in Israel, which is racism in general is a bad thing. I think. Yeah, it's a bad thing everywhere. Racism is everywhere. No country out there is perfect. Exactly. And no, no one's perfect. Everyone has their own uh, prejudices against other yeah. things. Like, like, oh. even, like even for Portugal, we're mostly nice, but we ain't perfect. Yeah, even us Indians. And it's like, you know, just, you know, people need to improve. We all need to love each other as much as possible because we're only one race, the human race. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we should – treat other people the way we want to be treated exactly like like you know i have friends i have friends from like all over the world technically mm -hmm. like you know because like i love meeting people from other countries because like you know other countries are just different you know like you know some countries you know you you find out their culture is different and you'd be like holy damn that's very interesting to know about and just like you know everybody should be the same way i respect everybody the same way I want to be treated just like, same like, here, like, like the way it should be. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm the same way too. Like I have friends yeah. who are 
from Nigeria who were really born, brought up in Nigeria and then came to the mm. U.S. for yeah. school. I have a friend from Saudi Arabia who, again, born, brought up in Saudi Arabia and then came here for college. And then I have yeah. friends from like you who are support of Portuguese descent mm. and so many other nationalities that we're all like family. We don't, yeah. we don't treat each other like shit and like, yeah. like, like <laughs> each other family. <laughs> Yeah, and I, like you know, it's just like I do believe in the coming years we're gonna improve because like this I'm movement, this, mo- this movement that's going on, like you even got businesses supporting it, like big businesses supporting it. Yeah, like you got like you got the NFL is finally starting to do take action. <laughs> yeah. FIFA is starting to take action, even though they should have taken action years ago because of the yeah. racism problem that's going on in the football world. And you got the NBA speaking, obviously, a lot. And, mm-hmm. and you know, you got the Marines. They just took out right. the Confederation flag. And then you got NASCAR in that, too. Yeah, the, NASCAR just did it, too. And, and I believe, you know, a lot of things is changing. And, you know, I think, I think changing will, will happen. It might take a while. Hopefully it, it takes a, hopefully it takes in our lifetime. But... Mm-hmm. You know, hopefully we'll, we'll end racism as well as world. Because like it's it's been a, it's been a it's been a big problem since. Day effing one. Yeah. You know, just because like the like you know, like for, like when you know Europe colonized America, they brought them you know them as slaves. Yeah. And like you know Portugal, Spain, England, they all came here as like. Having people from Africa, like even like I didn't know this until like someone recently, but there was even slaves that got went went to east, like towards India, yeah. and to India, and like mm-hmm. other like that side of the world. <laughs> yeah, just the the past is very dark, very dark. Mm-hmm. I can imagine how those people experienced uh, racism back. Like you know, it's improved. But it needs to be more improved because, like, at one point in America, only whites attended whites, blacks attended blacks, only yeah. places. Even the sports leagues also, like, you know, will separate until later on. So Martin Luther King had his dream, changed <laughs> a little bit, but could have been more changed. Yeah. And, you know, just like history, it repeats itself. Because technically, we live like 50 years in five months. Exactly. Like, we have a weird timing right now. Yeah. It's like, man, it's, a, it's like a sci fi movie. Like, every some new thing comes out every month. Yeah. I actually saw this uh, meme on Facebook where it's like, where <laughs> it says in June, and it has Godzilla coming up. Like, <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I saw oh, that. <laughs> or, or um, I'm a big Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z fan too. So yeah. like, um, I saw like in June, and then you had like Android 1718 walking around. <laughs> like, like, oh man, here we go. Yeah, here we go again. Now, technically, I don't know if you heard this, but they said there was an asteroid coming near Earth. Like some next month or something, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like I saw it on the Crown Four News, but I, I don't believe it. And, uh, you know, it's just I some weird thing. Asteroids that swung around Earth like every Earth. day, like every oh. day. Like you, 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 you don't even see it. It's too small to even freaking. Or as soon as they reach the atmosphere, poosh. Yeah. I yeah. thank Jupiter for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jupiter has been fleeing, like protecting me, I was just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Those planets. Speaking about space, Elon Musk, dude, that guy's a legend. Oh. Guy's a- yeah. That's- SpaceX, all that, just learning all the all the things. Dude, I love that guy. I call him he's in my opinion, he's a crazy bastard. He's like dudes like doing <laughs> at the same time and then somehow like getting like absolutely like killing it. <laughs> absolutely literally dude literally they were about to he was about to move the tesla plant to texas i believe yeah texas or nevada something like that yeah and uh and then he owned uh gavin newsom's government um saying like you know why is why is weed shops open but my factory isn't <laughs> yeah then you then you know what happened they opened the factory back up again 
and things are back to normal. But that guy seriously is a genius. He's, 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 a, mad, he's, he's a mad scientist, bro. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, he's, he's he's some good stuff though. He he got some good stuff. I believe he even had a camo on Iron Man two in the restaurant. Yeah, he did. He um, yeah. actually, let me pull that up. I I should mention it. That's what, oh, I kind of want to see that again. Elon Musk, Iron Man two camo. Yeah. Uh, let me share my screen here. It was also on the Big Bang Theory too, believe it or not. Can you see my screen? Uh, yeah. All right, here's the video. All right. Oh, here, skip the ad in two video. seconds. <laughs> oh, let's watch this. I'm just kidding. Yeah, let's watch the video. Who don't know this guy here in the white suit is Elon Musk. You do. That won't make it work. All right. Well, yeah, that's his cameo. Yeah, they're talking about making the jet. <laughs> Funny enough, he's, he probably is making that like in the back of his work, in back one of his back of his like manufacturing plants or something. <laughs> oh, I believe. I believe he's making like a mega factory where technically he gets a lot of power engineer, like a lot yeah. of power, probably more power than part of the whole world. He's making yeah. one giant factory. I don't know where, but he's making it. I mean, if it's depending on the size, it'd probably be in like the Mojave desert or somewhere <laughs> where he can like build like a bunch of buildings. No one would give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Like, you know, I just, just watching, uh, you know, just like people like that just makes you realize that, man. Everything is possible. Yeah, everything's possible. Like from from Ronaldo having nothing to up to a billion status, yeah. anything is possible. If someone be doesn't believe in you, you can just say, screw you, work your job on your own, do what you have to do, and you'll get there. Exactly, like. Um, well, there's a little bit of luck involved too. Like, not everything is hard work, but there's a little bit of luck. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, think about it. If Elon Musk uh, didn't like, so, like, didn't do what he did, obviously no one would have heard of him. Yeah. So it's like he. I think he's the real, closest thing to an Iron Man we have in reality. Just saying. Yeah, they they did they, they, they did kind of compare them to Tony Stark sometimes too. Yeah, because like you know if like if, man just just yeah. things that is going on right now things that you could do just by reading the books because I believe he read a lot of he read he spent like maybe like a lot of hours a day reading books. Right. And uh, you know, and I also believe like you know like you know, I'm not trying to sham college or anything but like right, but at the same time same time it's also luck and it's also the hard work and you know it's a lot of sacrifices and you know yeah i know i know this is gonna i know a lot of like asian people are gonna scream at this but like <laughs> college isn't gonna make you successful yeah i mean like you know self-taught self-taught that's how i mean that's a lot exactly, of people if too at, like, if you look at bill gates and mark zuckerberg Obviously, yeah. owners of Microsoft and Facebook, respectively, yeah. they didn't graduate from Harvard. Granted, they went to Harvard for a math degree, but they never graduated. Well, I believe Mark Zuckerberg went to Stanford. Right? Well, he went to Harvard. Harvard? Oh. Harvard, yeah. Either way, it's a good school, but like, nothing against Harvard. <laughs> like, yeah, nothing, nothing not against school. I understand, but I understand, and then obviously they became multi-billionaires. Yeah. 
you got someone like Warren Buffett who went to like Columbia and like graduated from Columbia and like all these like yeah. top three schools and obviously he's yeah. a multi-millionaire. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's just, man, it's just. Yeah, I was actually, I was actually talking about this with one of my coworkers when we went out to lunch before the whole shelter in place. Like, yeah. like my thoughts on college, I thought a lot of the college degrees are bullshit. Like, yeah. That's just me. Like, I don't think you need to go to X school to you get a BA in in philosophy or like <laughs> fine arts when you could do an yeah. internship or like an apprenticeship with somebody in that industry yeah. and go that way. Right. Right. That's just me. I think a lot of these majors, like, like for me, for me, for for like for example, doctors should be what you have to do more because. Yeah. Those are people that are helping lives. You know, you don't want to, you, you know, you want to trust the doctor not to make a mistake on you. So, you get it. So those guys need most training as possible. And you know, like and, doctors, lawyers, engineers are like should be paid more than some guy who's flipping burgers at McDonald's. <laughs> right. So, yeah. And that's the thing too. Like I think teachers, like elementary, middle school, and high school teachers, should be t- paid more to the point where they don't mm-hmm. have to be like. Working like four or five jobs, this is yeah, work. yeah, that's right. That. Like, I think like, I know I had this one teacher in the third grade, I'm not gonna, gonna, I'm not gonna say her name, but she actually yeah. ended up changing my life, like, yeah, setting me up to become an engineer. And like, I look yeah. back on it now, like, yeah, I can think, thank Iron Man, Tony Stark, but she actually ended up helping me a lot more than watching yeah. that hour and a half movie, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, that's very true. And I just can't wait for things to get improved and back to normal. Oh yeah, I think I think that you said you spoke for everybody on that part, man. Like I can't wait to go back to like barbecue, eating barbecue, and like <laughs> trying new restaurants and like all that stuff, <laughs> watching movies. But like, I want things to go back to normal. Like as soon yeah, as same you- here, same oh. here. You know, I just miss, I miss, I miss. I miss the weekends. Yeah. Now the weekends, you just pretty much just sit in your house, just watch TV and play video games. But well, I, I, technically do, I technically do some workouts. And yeah, but there's only so much of TV and video games you can do and, like, workouts yeah. without, like, wanting to, like, go Yeah, you can, you can literally just, you know, start making it. Like, if you have a business major, you can literally start looking for people, create, you know, jobs. I already had a friend who just, hired two people during this pandemic nice. so yeah just like you know yeah just like you know people that work during the pandemic are going to be the ones that are survivalists yeah survived pretty much you know they they're they're on the right track for example like there's even people that made more money than they usually make even before the pandemic yeah which is you know just makes you realize that like how is the stores like stores that it's a billion dollar industry suddenly gets shut down for example ghost gym i believe is getting shut down right uh 24 is yeah. in chapter 11 so, yeah i just heard about that and you know just man just like just makes you realize that the you know pandemic was the worst thing that possibly hit us was shutting down the businesses we all cared and loved yeah like i know a lot of companies or a lot of places are just going like out of business. Up. Yeah. Like there's like this uh, club well, not club, but like technically like a place, the rattle saddle rock, saddle rock, I believe from Fremont, which is like country music. Right. I, always, I always wanted to try that out. Cause like, you know, I got into country. This, dude, this coronavirus pandemic changed me <laughs> so much. Instead of listening to country music, don't judge me. Yeah, <laughs> and, and 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 some like classic rock and stuff, but like you know, just like going, just I was wanting to see that, kind of want to wear, but you know, that place just got shut down because yeah. of the coronavirus. I mean, yeah, I mean, like if people are not coming in, or very few people are not coming in, and yeah, the costs are the same, or or if things are increasing, you're gonna be screwed seven ways from Sunday. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I just can't wait until like things to get back to normal, and you know, just like I said earlier. In the video I'll probably said like a billion times already. Proof back to normal as soon as possible. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Yeah. I guess we'll end it here. Huh? I guess we'll end it here. Say what? I guess we'll end this podcast here. All right, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for spending in the last almost hour <laughs> with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we wanted to talk about the justice league. We talked about movies and like everything else in between. We, we pretty much did like at least like four episodes now. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Have a good one. Good one. Peace. Peace.